when I was a kid, I often thought that bluegrass artists could only come from south of the Mason-Dixon line. Of course, as time went on, I, I learned differently, but uh, it took the opportunity to play with some folks from the north to really give me insight into the fact that bluegrass was not only for all parts of the country, but for all parts of the world. In 1980, I met some new friends. They relocated from Pennsylvania, a couple named Elaine and Shorty Eagle. They soon became a regular part of the bluegrass circuit in the Southeast, sharing their talents and giving a, a unique spin to a lot of the bluegrass classics that we've come to know. Shorty's unique ability to give the banjo a sound that was all his own, I'm sure I'm something that endeared him to uh, Jimmy Martin when he included him as part of the Sunny Mountain Boys. But their talents were something that I enjoyed sharing on stage as I was learning, as I was coming into figuring out exactly what a fiddle player was supposed to do on stage. And I'm thankful that they gave me that opportunity. I hope you'll enjoy listening back from my home video footage, a performance with Elaine and Shorty, the Grass Cats. Of course, I'm one of the Grass Cats. Thanks for watching Randall Franks TV. Come back, be with us again.